Fans of the Horus Heresy, thank you very much for joining me for a build update on my Karaknos assault tank for the Mechanicum. So, I just thought I'd shoot this video because I've been working uh, on this new kit today, having bought it yesterday. I'll leave a link to my unboxing review, but the reason I'm doing this review is just to show you the kit design on this model because I'm actually really impressed with it and it's, it's a bit of a departure from the general way that forge world model kits have been designed that I've been familiar to and there's some nice design decisions in this that are actually making it a really nice kit to make. So I just thought I'd show you that, these because um, I'm, I'm very encouraged by them. Um, so this is, it's had its bath and, or bath if you're from the south of England. I've removed the keys, I've done some clean up work on it and I've also heat bent the various warps out. So this is now pretty much like a dry fit on this kit. So nothing's stuck, so this may collapse at any moment. Let's dismantle this and I'll just show you the, how the design works. So if we bring it in a bit closer, drop the camera down. All right, so that one bobs off. That's, there we go. Oh, yep, yeah, as I said, it might collapse, just as expected, but that's fine, right. So if we take that away, I'll take that apart. We don't really need these bits. These are the mortar bay covers. We don't really need those for the purposes of this demo. Right, I'll take all this apart. Right, so strip down to its parts. So the basic design, or the key design elements here is a front hull, um, or a lower hull with the front moulded on, two inner side hulls, two outer side hulls, or track units, shall we say, uh, and then a series of components that build the rear and the the rear hull and round to the top hull and then we've got a that's a that's a nose piece or the upper hull front that's a rear hull upper and then that's the back of the hull right so what we've got here is i'm used to getting four draw kits that typically have large grooves for locating parts and that's a very common design style that I've seen in kits that I've had. However, here they've gone for a much more, a, a, here the kit design has gone for these peg holes. And you can see, so they've got the fitting holes and they've got the pegs. And on this part here, so this is the mortar bay. Again, we've got a locating lug, which is gonna go into that attachment point there. And then we've got some more Look, some more locating holes on the upper side and then we've got some locating holes there and then the pins there and what I found working on this so far is these this approach with these locating pins or locating posts gives a much gives a really positive and affirmative fit and location for the parts in a way that I've not been accustomed to the tip with with the typical slot design. So, I mean, what it means is that when I take this side hull and put it on here, it's got a really well-defined attachment point. And likewise, is this a sort of rectangular cutout and a corresponding relief to go into that? What this means is there's a very firm and clear location on that part. And there's no, there's sort of no ambiguity there. There's, I mean, there's maybe a fraction of a millimetre play on that, which, you know, which is fine. And you, you want that in a resin kit, but, you know, sometimes with these, you get a really quite large plate and, and likewise on this side. And then if we take, if we take the mortar bay and I'm just going to have to, so those two lugs there, you can see that at the back, that's going to locate in there. And then the same on the other side. So this is now kind of, a rotational piece and then that well if I do a little bit of positioning it's going to drop down say a little bit of position there we go there you go so that's going to drop down there and then the nose or the upper nose is going to locate in like so and the whole thing is just a really a really good and and look at that so we've got good alignment so these all these side panel lines and this piping lines up well 
and we've got a good alignment on the vertical plane and likewise on this side as well. Everything's just so well aligned and the reason for that are those locating holes and then you know once it's once it's going to stick it will all it will all close up quite nicely. Um, yeah and then I mean the, the 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 fit on these is just a design I've seen before where they just slide over and to be honest why change it because that works well. Let's see if I can put this back together on camera. Always a challenge, a dexterity challenge. Oops. Okay, I'll just try. There you go. So, and then, you know, from the rear, everything just lines up so nicely as well. And then we've also got. And then again, we've got a pair of locator pins or locator posts on this rear hull section. And then there's a, then there's a groove here, which is going to recess into there. But again, the groove, it's, it's a nice, it's a very affirmative type fit and there's hardly any play there. And this is just, it's so good to get a kit designed this way because um, it's just such a, as I say, a very positive and clear fit as to how everything's going to go together. And if I can just get this to go back, which is probably about where it's all going to go horribly wrong. Oh no, oh gosh, there you go. There we go. And yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of sticking to do to get all this finally lined up, but of all the forge oil tanks I've ever built, another forge oil tank I built that has, that had a similarly neat design system and so had, had this posts and nice slots and grooves was the Macrocarid Explorator which interestingly was the last uh, Mechanicum tank that was released so I don't know if we've got a different person who does these Mechanicum tanks but I'm really rather impressed and for but what is actually a very complex hull design on account of these mortar bays, it's actually going to be a really easy build this one on account of the very neat, clever kit design. I thought I'd share that with you because as I say, I'm, I'm really impressed by how this has been executed and it just goes to show how clever kit design can help you with overcoming some of the challenges of building a resin model. And I guess the other thing as well that I like about this is having several parts making up this upper hull means that any slight gaps that you get along with the joins and what have you, they're much easier to hide by putting a tight, just by spacing your parts ever so slightly and using tricks like that, just to cleverly put it all together and make it all look true. Hope you found that interesting. Thank you very much for watching. I will speak to you next time and goodbye.